in my house, we were treated all the same. But when I went out that screen door, it was totally different. I was born blind. I didn't talk to the age of four. I was held back the first three years of my life. And what happens when you get held back three years? You become the one to pick on. I just was worried about how I was going to get through that day. How am I going to get through that jungle? What path am I going to take? And I shouldn't have to think about that at the age of 13. But that was a sign at a time that people with intellectual disability weren't included. Special Olympics started in 1968. Eunice Kennedy Shriver started with a camp in her backyard. And she had this vision because she had a sister that was kind of not a part of society. She wondered how people would accept people who were differently able. Through this camp, she found out these people can be taught. Special Olympics has done that for people like me. These people have value. Everyone has value. It's not how much you have, it's what you have and how you use it. You never know what the future holds. And one day, you're going to make a difference because you're a unified champion school. I would say that Unified is probably the most important thing that this school has done in the last decade. Unified Sports is a unique opportunity to bring a competitive sport to a population within our building that hadn't had that before. It put the spotlight on them. Athletic directors have said, how do you, how do you generate this much interest? How do you get a program from infancy to where you are now? And I say, it's really easy to do that when you have such tremendous support from the classroom, from all the teachers, from all of the students. And it's really a joint effort to see everybody succeed. It, it just kind of changed the way that people viewed students with disabilities. And I think that seeing the way that Jay and Evan treat each other, you know, it's just tremendous. So I was approached by um, Jason's teachers to do a speech because Unified sports is really the main thing that's brought us closer together. I titled it Be Brave in the Attempt. Programs like TOPS, Special Olympics, and most recently Unified Sports have provided a foundation for individuals of all abilities to express themselves and succeed in society. My involvement in these programs has opened my eyes to the awesome world that those with disabilities live in. I'd say for the past, like, 15 years, he's always been on the sideline. Through sports like Unified, I was able to cheer for him. It made me realize the joy of watching someone else succeed. He's the inclusion role model. He lives it. He lives it and he's not afraid of it. And if he was at points in his life, he's come to a point now to love his brother. And he wants the whole school to know it. The success of Unified has been putting kids out there in the world who will then spread that same message. Eddie played football here for four years, was one of the first partner athletes we've ever had here at Grandview, and Eddie was one of the founding fathers of that. He started something big here, and it's really grown a wildfire throughout Colorado. Um, I personally am honored to call him my friend because he's just a great kid. I appreciate it. And that was just a special time. I mean, we did a lot of fun stuff here, that's for sure. We did. We had a good time. I've been on the stage and had a crowd cheer for me when I score a touchdown or make a big stop or something. I've had that. And uh, students with ID, unfortunately, sometimes don't, aren't afforded that opportunity. I was never the smartest, never the fastest, really where I am today in regards to playing in the NFL. All I did was just work hard. And as long as you have that work ethic, that perseverance to take you there, the sky's the limit for you guys. First season in Unified Sports, we first started to go out there, try to have like these like 
strategic like practice plans and oh we're gonna do this this and that but then we started like just having fun and truly just getting better making it all about our kids and it was amazing you know that's what it was all about a lot of people think you have to have this huge movement to, to make a difference when really at its core most of the time those huge movements are start off as like a snowball and then this the ball gets rolling and all of a sudden you have a huge avalanche a huge movement Grandview High School taught me to do anything put somebody else on the pedestal. People seldomly forget how you made them feel, the experiences that you had with them. My teachers, all my coaching staff, you know, they actually care on a personal level. The way they made me feel, the, that inclusiveness that they gave me, and that's really what made a huge difference. You are a big part of everything that's happened here, and I wouldn't change it for the world. Like, I just, I love that, so. When I first entered high school, I really didn't have my place. I didn't have something in life that I was passionate about or something that I really felt strongly about. My freshman year, I joined a PE class. It was a unified PE class. And the moment I got involved and the moment that I met my best friend, I realized that empowering people with and without disabilities to lead together was my passion in life. And that's what really interested me in living in the city was this position and this work because I knew that that's what I've always wanted to do and I knew that it would bring me so much happiness and joy. Now I'm in a position at Special Olympics International where I'm empowering other young people to have a similar experience that I had and to continue to create a unified generation. When young people are taught at an early age that inclusion is okay. That mindset will continue to carry on as they go through school and as they enter the workplace and as they enter the world. They're also gaining something really important, which is life skills. They're learning about challenges that their partners may have so that when they go out into the workplace and they see somebody having those same challenges, they'll have empathy. They'll have understanding. Maybe they'll have tools to make that job better for that person. And it's awesome. Mrs. Shriver has inspired all the athletes in our movement to always try harder, to prove to the world that they are capable, and to fight for what they deserve in life. Our goal in all of this Unified Champion Schools movement is that it's not a set of programs, it's not these set of pillars, it's a philosophy installed in the school. If you can change the school culture, this program will last a lifetime. One of my goals is one day to see every school be inclusive, no matter where they come from, no matter what language they speak, no matter how they learn, except everyone. It's just super cool to see Matthew mm -hmm. loved by so many people. Mm -hmm. To me, this is important because it makes really great friendships that last a lifetime. With Special Olympics, I felt like I was a part of something and I really want to be a part of that even more. Thank you. Thank you. In ancient Rome, the gladiators went into the arena with these words on their lips. Let me win. But if I cannot win, let me be brave in the attempt. Today, all of you young athletes are in the arena. Many of you will win. But even more important, I know you will be brave and bring credit to your parents and to your country. If it was all inclusive and everybody was just all for one, one for all, so many of these problems and so many of these things that are currently wrong with us as a society would be nixed and fixed. Inclusion. It's probably the most beautiful thing you can see.